Welcome to the video. In this video, we will give some tips on how to make sure of your mesh quality. Mesh generation is the most important process in finite element models. Since they directly affect the accuracy of the final results and also the computational cost. There are some recommendations to generate mesh with acceptable quality. So, if you are interested in this topic, you are welcome to watch the video until the end. If you have any question regarding mesh quality, please comment below. Welcome back. As the first recommendation, minimize mesh distortion as much as possible. Mesh distortion do exist in parts with complex geometry. Don't forget, it is highly recommended to mesh the part with quadrilateral or brick elements as much as possible. Minimizing mesh distortion can be done through partitioning the part or refining the mesh size. Note that, mesh distortion occurs during the simulation process. This type of mesh distortion can be suppressed by ALE technique. For more detail on ALE technique, you can watch our video on this technique. As the second recommendation, a minimum of four quadratic elements per 90 degrees should be used around a circular hole. As the third recommendation, a minimum of four elements should be used through the thickness of a structure of first order. Reduced integration solid elements are used to model bending. Other guidelines can be developed based on experience with a given class of problem. As the fourth recommendation, Use a sufficiently refined mesh to ensure that the results from your abacus simulation are adequate. Coarse meshes tend to yield inaccurate results. The computer resources required to run your job increase with the level of mesh refinement. It is highly recommended to perform a mesh convergence study. Simulate the problem using progressively finer meshes and compare the results. When two meshes yield nearly identical results, the results are said to have converged. This provides increased confidence in your results. For more details, you can watch our previous video on mesh dependency study. As the last recommendation, use a fine mesh only in areas of high gradients and a coarser mesh in areas of low gradients. It is rarely necessary to use a uniformly refined mesh throughout the structure being analyzed can often predict regions of high gradients before generating the mesh. Region of high gradients are where there is a geometry variation, thickness variation, hole or similar ones. You can identify these regions using hand calculations, experience or alternatively, using coarse mesh results to recognize high gradient regions. For more details, you can watch our previous videos on generating mesh on parts with regions of high gradients. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please support our team with like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Don't forget to visit our site for more related products.